Hi, uh, so my name my name is Amy Skanda and yep since this weekend is the um, Singaporean Grand Prix this is my race review okay so last year's Singapore Grand Prix was a wretched start for the both of the Ferraris retiring on the first lap uh, yep and Sadly, Verstappen got stuck in a Ferrari called Lisek going down into turn 1 and um, Alonso was at the wrong place at the wrong time uh, Yep, he was involved in the first lap mayhem uh, Yep, Vital continued but at turn 3 he spun off and he had his radiator damaged so yep, Hamilton won the race as um, not to anybody's surprise but Vettel actually qualified on pole. Raikkonen had an absolute pitch of start from uh, from I think it was third I think if I'm not sure. Yeah, third place I think. Third or fourth place was behind the stopper. The two Red Bulls were behind uh, The two Red Bulls were behind Vettel. The Stappen was the Bull was on the, the this on the left side of the track. Yeah. So uh yep. Somebody started in sec and locked up the front row but I did not know who was it. But yeah, the first let me him and I could not remember that I could not forget. Uh, Ricardo towards the end of the race he he had to Nice to go back as I told you in uh yeah uh and the first edition to have won in um in 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 uh, in twenty in o eight was actually ten years back around so but there was a crash kit scandal okay then o nine was the was brown then red maybe ferrari i'm not really sure in 2010 uh, 2011 to 2013 was dominated by one and one and one and one team only red bull and um uh, so, uh, for, they had three pole, pole positions I think yeah they had three pole positions forgot I can only remember 11 13 I'm not sure about 14 mm, yeah I think they have the most poles on that track Red Bull then um uh, then um last year's pole seater was uh Vettel but Hamilton was in the race and uh, 2015 was Vettel Rosberg maybe in 2016 2014 was uh, was Hamilton yeah, 13 Vettel, 11 Vettel, 15 Vettel, 17 Vettel. So, four pole positions. I forgot who was on pole in 08. I think it was Massa or maybe Hamilton. I'm not sure. But 2014, I can clearly recall. 2010, maybe it's um, Lanzo with Ferrari. 
then 2011 to 2012 it was Red Bull and yeah I think Red Bull and Ferrari has the most pulls on that track uh, combine or of on pole position if you combine the pole position statistics for Red Bull and Ferrari they have six pole positions combined together so three each for each team 2010 2015 and 2017 so only Vettel has two pole positions uh, Alonso has one and uh, I think he did not win the 2010 race I'm not really sure and yes uh, oh, 09 was won by Brown, yeah. Uh, oh, it was won by Alonso, but Alonso did not, wasn't on pole. Either it was Massa or Hamilton. I have a feeling it was Hamilton. Hamilton, yeah. Hamilton has two poles, uh, three poles, four poles, so. Tell a pole position for uh, Jensen, a pole position for Rosberg, that's 2016, a pole position for uh, Button in 09, 2010, was one of the Ferraris, I uh, maybe Alonso. 2011, 2013, 2015, and 2017 was Vettel. So 2012, maybe it was um, Vettel's teammate in Red Bull. Uh, it was um, the predecessor to uh, Ricardo. Uh, now he has turned into an F1 funded uh, and an ambassador for Porsche. He, yeah, he was involved in sports car racing for a few years, Mark Webber. So, yeah. So, yep. Red Bull has the most pole positions on the track. With the Red Bull and Ferrari with three each. But in terms of individual record, Vettel has raced there 10 times with six podiums, three wins. That came in 2011, 2013, and 2015, if I'm correct. The others, three wins for poles. The poles, I'm correct. The wins, I'm not really sure. But the six podiums is hard to trace. Uh, 2014 he got on the podium maybe 09 he got on the podium uh, 2012 he was on the podium maybe 20, 2012 2016 Yes Four pools, three wins Ten races, right? Six podiums and three wins David Four wins and six podiums Eh Wait, oh damn. He has he, he reset ten times. He has six podiums, four wins. Four wins coming in twenty eleven. 
2013, 2015, 2017 he retired. He had four poles. He had the wins. I'm not sure, but the poles I can assure you that he has four pole pole positions on the track and six podium finishes. But the podium finishes, I'm not really sure. Three of them were wins. The other three were either in second or third places so yeah uh, yeah Rosberg won 2016 Hamza won 2014 and 08 okay Ross uh, button 09 09 if I'm not mistaken Better 11 13 15 Yes so Last year was Hamilton So Hamilton has 3 wins Compared to Vettel Oh Vettel and Hamilton has 3 wins a piece Around the track so yeah, uh, Rosberg and uh, Avina P Rosberg, Lanzo and Button Avina Peace. So ten races, uh, nine races. Uh, one Spanish, one British, two German. Uh, one Spanish, two British, and two German drivers won. So the Spanish driver was Alonso, the two British drivers was um, Button and Hamilton, the Germans were Rosberg and Vettel. Yes, Rosberg with one, Vettel with three. So it's Four, eight, eight, one, nine, nine times Singapore has hosted the last night, the last nine years, nine times, three different three different three different manufacturer has won. The French manufacturer Renault, then McLaren and uh, Brown GP. Yes, McLaren did not uh, Brown GP, uh, Ferrari, Red Bull, and Renault, Ferrari, Red Bull. Run. Four constructors has won on that track, right? Run in 09, Renault 08, 2010, 2015 was uh, Ferrari, 2011, 2013 was Red Bull. And maybe 2012 was also Red Bull. 2014 was Mercedes. 2016 was Mercedes. So a German manufacturer, a French manufacturer, an Italian manufacturer. German, French, Italian, British. Brown GP is a British manufacturer. So yeah. Brown, Renault, uh, Ferrari and Mercedes. So from different manufacturers as one. Uh, yeah. Since the uh, track first hosted its first night race in 08. So three different countries 
four different manufacturers Uh, driver and uh, uh, country two Germans one Brit uh, three different countries four different manufacturers uh, because um, Button and Button and uh, Hamilton are from UK uh, from England the two Germans are from Germany and Alonso is from Spain and the three the four manufacturers, one from England, that's brown, two, one from German, one from Italy, and one from France. So, four. So, yes, and, yep. As you, you guys know, uh, last year's race was not really that entertaining episode for the first lap mayhem uh, after that it was um boringly dominated by a certain driver yeah so and yep the the, the casualties on, on that race was had huge names on the list was a uh, Hulken Berg Renault the two Ferraris were stopped and Alonso Alonso had a one hell of a start from 7th place I think I use the word mesmerizing yeah. in, in last year's review of the Singaporean uh, Grand Prix so yep this is just a preview so uh, last year's uh, stats and the previous year stats by the way um uh, tracks like monaco street tracks don't really favor they don't really favor mercedes that much yeah because they are tight and twisty and um they have to stay in close exprom uh in close uh, attendance with the car in flight uh, yeah so that's all and um i'll do the review after the race on sunday uh yes hopefully i would want to see raikkonen win or even better Vettel win but if uh, ferrari are not implying team orders that would be interesting if mercedes employ team orders for for Bottas to be a cock in a bottle for the both of the Ferraris that will be interest, interesting to protect Hamilton's tires hopefully Hamilton doesn't qualify on pole yeah maybe the Red Bulls maybe the Ferraris or Bottas qualifies on pole I'm okay but not Hamilton so yep and uh, yeah that's all for my preview sorry it's almost 19 minutes long uh yeah uh yep and on sunday is malaysia day so yeah the race is on sun this coming sunday so yep and um, i might do the review sunday night or Let's see, maybe sun Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning. So yeah. Good night and uh, Selamat Hari Malaysia to all Malaysians. I'm I'm pre wishing you guys. I will I will wish again after. The, I do my risk review on Sunday night so yeah I, I will pre wish first so yep good night and I'm signing off <laughs>